This is the so-called Shamu Show at SeaWorld in Florida. This orca certainly did not know before his captivity that he would someday be sticking his tongue out at humans. This behavior he also did not learn from his mother. SeaWorld is a billion dollar business with four dolphin area in the U.S. and millions of visitors per year. Here dolphin food is being sold. Many people are very interested to visit Dolphin Area and to see the animals close up. This is especially exciting when one can feed them and even touch them. But is it proper to deny the dolphin freedom for this activity? The closeness and the direct contact with dolphins has certainly resulted in many people becoming interested in the problems of animals in nature. On the other hand, when we realize that these animals are often kept in these pools where they can't escape from people, this may also show a lack of respect for them. SeaWorld Florida even has false killer whales. Just like orcas, these animals are in reality large dolphins. These terms killer whale are really quite unjust. Better as orca and pseudorca. Of course, in nature they don't behave like this. Six bottlenose dolphins wait in the adjoining pool. In the past, quite a few dolphins died in dolphin area. But in aquaria such as at SeaWorld, improved health and husbandry techniques have greatly reduced deaths and captivity. This, of course, is by itself no justification for keeping dolphins in captivity as show animals. The tourists learn much too little about the natural behavior of the animals. Hey folks, if we make enough noise, I think we can see some more. Oh, would you like to see some more? Training of dolphins relies on food reward. On top of that, the dolphins perform to please their trainers and to receive positive acknowledgement from them. The bottlenose dolphins are waiting for food too. But first, there's work to be done. Three 
The Sud Orcas wait for the next show. There are four shows per day. These unnatural and apparently human characteristics are also trained, of course. When the dolphins are not kept busy, they can become quite bored. It is unbelievable what dolphins can do. Many people, of course, want to see this, and they go to Dolphin Area. There are about 100 worldwide, and almost 1,000 dolphins in captivity. But there are also problems. Many dolphins are not born in captivity and must first get used to it. As other animals, too, dolphins are still being captured for zoos. This hasn't often been filmed because dolphin catchers generally don't like to be observed while at work. This video was taken off the coast of Guatemala. It shows how well-known and infamous dolphin hunter chases, surrounds, and catches dolphins with the help of hired local personnel. Even little babies are captured. Immediately after capture, the dolphins get a taste of what's in store for them. They are forced to swallow dead fish. This is coupled with a whistle blast, a signal which the future show stars will have to hear many more times. Uh, Medicine is administered so that these valuable animals remain healthy and alive for more than a few months in their new homes. Despite the medicine, dolphins often don't have a high life expectancy in their first several years of captivity. In the wilds, some bottlenose dolphins can live for over 50 years. <laughs> Dolphins are expensive. In good condition, they may cost upwards of $50,000 US. Cream is applied to the skin to keep it from drying out. The shipment of dolphins arrives after many hours of transportation. The various buyers await their freight with anticipation and then ship the dolphins on. If the airplane is too small, the dolphin has to travel without its protective crate. And what awaits dolphins in captivity can be seen the world over. At a theater of the sea in Florida, for example.
If the dolphins don't hit their snouts in this small enclosure, they can continue to beg for food. Pirouettes for fish, that's the scheme. Five fully grown dolphins live in this small round pool. Ocean World, Florida. Here, too, one can receive food for work well done. According to the U.S. National Marine Fisheries Service, 18 of 34 bottlenose dolphins have died in this dolphinarium. Bottlenose dolphins have mouths permanently fixed in an apparent smile by nature, even when they're angry or sad. Water becomes especially dirty in small pools when it cannot be changed often enough. Much salt and chemicals such as chlorine are added to keep the water algae free. Such chemicals are not exactly healthy for the dolphins, however. These Amazonian freshwater dolphins, or botos, have lived in the Duisburg Zoo in Germany for over 10 years already. There used to be five dolphins here, but three died a long time ago. The dolphins have fungal skin growths on their bodies. The only relief from boredom for these intelligent mammals are a rubber hose and a concrete ring embedded with scratching brushes. One advantage, these botos feed on live fish which they catch themselves. To find food, they emit high-frequency sounds which humans can't hear. These sounds also serve for orientation. They're a type of echolocation, somewhat like the echolocation of bats. In the natural world of oceans and rivers, echolocation functions without problems. In square concrete pools, these sound waves can be reflected and become confusing. It may be as if in a hall of mirrors. The Duisburg Zoo keeps not only botos, but white whales or belugas as well. These large animals are also in two small aquaria. 
There used to be three belugas in here, but one died. This pretty animal is a Commerson's dolphin of South America. 17 Commerson's were captured between 1978 and 1983, but 16 died in the Duisburg Zoo. Only one single animal remains alive. How can one imagine that this could be more fun for the animals than a life in nature? The zoo director of the Duisburg Zoo caught all animals himself and is quite proud of that. It has become known that plans are to catch new dolphins for Duisburg, despite the bad experiences for dolphins at this zoo. Let's hope this does not happen. At least one should improve the living conditions of those still in captivity. According to conservation organizations, 95 dolphins have died in the nine German dolphin area since 1965. 41 of these deaths occurred at Duisburg. The tourists, especially the children, are excited by the shows. Unfortunately, they get a quite false impression of the animals. Dolphins can become very bored between shows. Sometimes fights of dominance break out in dolphins as one animal challenges another. This also happens in nature but, in nature, the weaker one can flee. Dolphins in captivity have been killed by each other in this manner. When one sees these pictures, one must demand better caretaking of dolphins in captivity. For example, much larger pools. Perhaps we can live without dolphinaria at some time in the future. At least, no more dolphins should be taken out of the wild. What does one do with dolphins when dolphin area are closed? Here in Two Rocks, Australia, the Japanese owners of the dolphinarium had to close shop for financial reasons. It is forbidden in Australia to buy and sell dolphins. Therefore, they must be retrained to a life at sea. The former trainer is now the future freedom giver. He still gives the dolphins dead fish. The biggest problem is that they forgot how to hunt live fish themselves. Retraining takes months.
Mark has tried to release these dolphins several times. He can follow them with help of a radio transmitter mounted on the dorsal fin. Several of his dolphins disappeared anyway, and no one knows whether they're still alive. Three dolphins, which had lost much weight in nature, were recaught. Now Mark is afraid to release them again, because it is very difficult to ascertain if the dolphins have been sufficiently prepared for a life in the wild. Dolphins which had been freed swim back and forth in front of the gate to the outside. How could one still see dolphins if there were no more aquaria? Well, Ron Canning has one possible answer. Off the Florida Keys, he and several tourists sail out to his friends, a group of bottlenose dolphins. Like hunting and traveling and looking for fish right now. And we'll just keep following this thing behind them uh, see where they're going. And probably... The dolphins can decide for themselves whether they wish to visit the boat or not. Cannings does not chase after them, as some other boat drivers unfortunately do. If too many people would go out to sea to approach dolphins, this too could very badly disturb the natural behavior of the animals. And especially when humans wish to swim with wild dolphins, this must be well regulated by laws. Above all, animals should have the capability to decide for themselves whether or not they want contact with humans. Hey, Nicholas. Hey, Nicholas. What are you doing? Hey, kid. watching them, one might not notice low tide and accidentally become stuck on a sandbar. Keep it. 